Hey, I'm Kevin with Me and Switch Up, and I got a really cool, easy project for you today making a cribbage board. I made this cribbage board out of curly maple and paduke. I've got this really cool box to go with it that opens and closes with magnetic latches, and it's got a spot for the cribbage pegs and the cards to go into. This whole project is really easy to make, so if you like cribbage and you like making your own board games out of wood, then let's check it out. All the wood I'm going to need for this project is this piece of paduke and three pieces of this curly maple that I got. So I've still got all this wood left over for some other projects. So I've got the three boards picked out that I want to use, and since these are all one by one, and they, they're pretty square, so I don't think I'm going to have to do any really additional work to these, aside from just cutting them to length. They do got these gaps here, but I think that'll be pulled together once I clamp it. So what I want to do is I just want to use this paduke and find the best looking spots in each of these boards. I'll put a line here. Actually, all of them. It just looks like the end of the board. Since I figured out that the good figure I like is mostly at the ends of these boards. I went ahead and just set up a stop block on my crosscut sled. So since I'm going to be doing the Duke, in little strips so it'll be like pinstriping through here. I need to cut it the same thickness as my maple. I've got a little tip for you so let me get you closer and I'll show you what's going on here. So in order to get my strips the same thickness as my boards, one thing you will you could commonly do is take your fence, butt it up against the piece that you're trying to get the thickness off of and that usually works okay, but what I find is it's better to set that and then just tap your fence over just a little bit and give yourself just a little bit of wiggle room because even though you butt the fence up to have this between the blade and the fence to get your thickness set, I've done that before and even after running it, sometimes my strips were just a little bit shallower than the pieces I was gluing them to and that's not very good because then rather than having to sand this very thin strip flush you have to sand all of these much thicker pieces flush and that's a lot more labor intensive than just sanding the strips flush so I'm gonna do it that way little woodworking coincidences. I guess I just so happened to set up my fence perfectly to where my, I'm only going to need two strips but my very last off cut is also the exact thickness. So I cut it into exactly three equal pieces. Huh. Now with everything cut to size I can go ahead and glue it together. to apply my cribbage board template. To do that, I just use spray adhesive. This little can is just a couple bucks at any store, and it works really good for applying paper templates. After you spray some on there, just wave it around, give it just about 10 seconds or so. And after you've given it a couple seconds, it'll kind of tack up, and you could then apply it. And this cribbage board template, I just did a Google image search. So over here at my drill press, I've got my drill set to stop about there because on Amazon I bought these really cool metal 
cribbage pegs and I found the right bit and I found the right depth to where they go in nicely. And I guess you gotta drill like 8 million holes now. Seven holes later, I'm finally done drilling holes. And I realize it's kind of dark in the shop right now, but it, it's nighttime and I want to film during the day, but I'm too excited to keep working on this cribbage board. So right now I'm just gonna cut it down to the final length. to just kind of spiffy up the game board a bit is I'm going to do a chamfer on the bottom and I'm going to use my table saw for that and I'm using my fence as a stop and normally you never want to use a miter gauge in combination with your fence but I'm not cutting through the workpiece so it won't be trapped between the blade and my fence so in this instance it's fine but if I was making a through cut you would not want to do that. So I've been trying to come up with all kinds of ways on how to implement storage for the pegs and the deck of cards. And my original idea was maybe to make a box and have this as like the lid that comes open. But since those are such kind of severe bevels on there, I don't think that would look good as a top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a box to put these in and I'm going to resaw some of that maple down for sides of the box. The stock block I could cut the length of the boxes which I measured out to accommodate the deck of cards and then also a spot for the cribbage pegs to go into. lid I'm gonna have to do another panel glue up because since that maple is only one inch by one inch it's not wide enough to be the lid of the box so I'm gonna glue up the lid and I've got another little piece of padoop that I could put on there too and I can glue together the box too I cut some little dados into the side of this box, put this little divider in that will divide the cards from the pegs. You know, one thing I've been liking to do lately with little boxes like this is use some rubber bands as clamps. I like how on my rubber band uh, bag it says like, bringing your world together. Bro, you don't make rubber bands. Holding, holding your world together. Advantage rubber bands, so they are holding the world together. Y'all better get, get a hold of this coronavirus to open and close. And I decided to go with some rare earth magnets. I'm going to use CA glue. Let's see if we can avoid it. I'm excited to see what this is going to look like with a finish on here. I'm really happy with how this set came out. The whole thing looks really sexy with that curly maple, but 
And I won't be holding on to this cribbage set for long because it is going to my dad for his birthday gift. The man really likes cribbage. He showed me how to play a few years ago, but I don't really remember how to play it. It's a game that he's really into, so I think he'll really like it. So if you liked and enjoyed this project and this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel because I have brand new woodworking projects like this every Friday. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Now's a good time to, to self-quarantine in, in your shop, right?